In this video, we'll be looking at problem number four for the, from the sensoidal SHM problem solving worksheet. Problem number four reads as the following. A 0 0.60 kilogram mass at the end of a spring vibrates 3.0 times per second with an amplitude of 0 0.13 meters. Calculate A, the total energy of the system, B, the velocity when it passes the equilibrium point, C, the velocity when it is at 0 0.10 meters from equilibrium, and D, the equation describing the motion of the mass, assuming that x was a maximum at t equals zero. So we'll start with part A. Step number one of part A will be to solve for k value, okay? We don't have the k value. They don't give us the k value of our spring. Before we can do anything else, we need to figure that out. The information that they did give us was they told us the frequency is three hertz. Three times per second is what it's vibrating at, so that means three hertz. The mass of the system is 0 0.60 kilograms, and the amplitude of the system, 0 0.13 meters. Remember, amplitude is the furthest distance that it will get away from the equilibrium position, and it also tells us where acceleration, spring force, and spring potential energy will be the greatest, and where velocity and kinetic energy will equal zero. That's the position where those things are true. So I'm going to use the frequency formula to solve for k. Frequency is equal to 1 over 2 pi times the square root of k over m. So we're going to use this to solve for k. What do we know? Well, we know the frequency is 3 hertz, and that's equal to 1 over 2 pi times the square root of our unknown k over the mass of the system, 0 0.60 kilograms. So we can solve this for k, and when we do, we see k is going to equal 213.2 newton meters. So that's our k value, okay? But what they actually asked us to solve for was the total energy of the system. Well, as I said, the, when we're at the amplitude, the total energy of the system is in the form of potential energy. So step two, number two, solve for TME. The total mechanical energy of the system can always be set equal to one half the spring value times the amplitude of the system squared. So this A, this capital A, stands for the position X when it's at amplitude. That equals the total mechanical energy of the system. So this A value is simply a position. It's the maximum displacement from the equilibrium position, which we call the amplitude. That is the only time that the spring potential energy is equal to TME. So now we can plug our values in. We can say 1 half times 213.2 newton meters times the amplitude 0 0.13 meters squared is equal to total mechanical energy. And when we run that through our calculator, what you'll find is 1.8 joules is the total mechanical energy of our system. That is the answer for part A. In part B, they want to know the velocity when we pass through the equilibrium position. Well, here's a great thing to know about the equilibrium position. At the equilibrium position, the force, the spring force is equal to zero, the spring potential energy is equal to zero, the acceleration is equal to zero, but the velocity is maximum, and therefore the kinetic energy is maximum, and at x equals zero, k, the kinetic energy, equals the total mechanical energy of the system. So we can take our calculation for the total mechanical energy of the system in part A and set it equal to the kinetic energy at x equals zero, or the equilibrium position. So we can say then that one half the mass times the maximum velocity squared, which is what always occurs at x equals zero, the maximum velocity is equal to 
total mechanical energy. So we can then say one half times 0 0.60 kilograms times our unknown velocity, which is the velocity max, is equal to 1.8 joules. And we'll solve for V max. And when we do that, V max ends up being 2.4 meters per second. And that is the answer to part B. In part C, they're asking us the velocity when the mass is at 0 0.10 meters from the equilibrium. Now our amplitude is 0 0.13 meters, so we are closer to the equilibrium than the amplitude. So at this point, the total mechanical energy of the system is going to be equal to the sum of the potential energy at this position plus the kinetic energy at this position. We are not at the amplitude and we're not at the equilibrium. We're somewhere in between, so therefore the object has both kinetic and potential. So we know total mechanical energy is equal to the spring potential plus the kinetic energy. Neither one of these guys is zero at this particular position because this is not the equilibrium and it is not the amplitude. So then what we would say is the total mechanical energy is going to be equal to one half k x squared plus one half m v squared. We're going to be solving for v. So we can say 1.8 joules is equal to one half times 213.2 newton meters times our position squared 0 0.10 meters squared plus one half times 0 0.60 kilograms times our unknown velocity squared. And now we're ready to solve this guy for velocity. Okay, and when we do that, we'll find that velocity is equal to 1.6 meters per second. And then lastly, in part D, they're just asking us what is the position function? So the position function for any simple harmonic oscillator is the amplitude times the cosine times two pi times the frequency times t. This t right here, little t, is literally the time that we've been in motion for. So for our particular oscillator, our position is going to be equal to 0 0.13 meters times the cosine of 2 pi times our frequency of 3 hertz times t, whatever time we're interested in. And that is the position function for our particular oscillator. Guys, this is just a formula that you could look up for any simple harmonic oscillator. I hope this helped. See you in the next one.